I grew up in a family where there was no doctor. Um, I was raised in a small town in Bangladesh and um, one of my distant relative was a physician and I went to his office and uh, thought that maybe medicine is a good thing for me and, uh, and then developed interest. Um, and then quite honestly, right from the very beginning, um, I wanted not only to cardio uh, medicine, but to cardiology. I received a scholarship um, by the uh, University of Southampton, sponsored by the Commonwealth Association of Universities. This is a uh, funding by the Queen of the United Kingdom. Um, and I was lucky to get that scholarship. So I went there, I did my PhD in uh, England, and then um, I decided to switch to the clinical side, which I all along wanted. Um, and I joined the um, clinical training program in the UK. So I was um, initially accepted in a program with the uh, University of Pennsylvania. I did my three years there. Um, I really enjoyed that time and then I joined the uh, cardiology program in Philadelphia but in uh, Drexel University. I was lucky to um, have the privilege to work with some outstanding individuals in the field of cardiology. Dr. Jagat Narula is my mentor. I had a chance to work with Dr. Morton Kern. Uh, he's very well published and a lead uh, authority in the uh, field of uh, interventional cardiology. Nevada, as a state, we did not have cardiology fellowship. So this is the first thing we are, we are happy to see the cardiology fellowship coming back in, Vega, in, in, in Nevada and there are more schools coming and I think it will be a good thing to have more fellowships not only in cardiology but in other disciplines as well. We need to focus on what the patients want. After all the research work, all these trials, at the end of the day it is important to know what actually the patient wants for the care. When you mingle with young minds, um, you feel challenged. And I always felt to be challenged. And teaching actually is kind of a challenge that you try to explain something. So you need to read and you need to absorb the thing to make it simple so that it can be absorbed by others. It is the clinical work, the teaching, the research, and build a team. Um, it all depends on how you build the team and, and increase the spirit of the, uh, of the team members. So in UMC we are lucky that we have a, a strong team here in uh, cardiac cath lab, in echo lab, in the nursing uh, section, the residents, fellows, administration. So I, I look at this that this is a teamwork. If the patient outcome is good, then the team wins. Without Chowdhury, there'd be no cardiology fellowship. And I think the fellows realize that, and the other people in the hospital realizes that. None of us do this alone. Dr. Sean doesn't do it alone. Dr. Carrison doesn't do it alone. No physician becomes good at what they do by themselves. It's a team effort, and when an individual gets honored, it's kind of like the team's being honored, too. And to me, that's the most important. Everyone that I've met kind of loves the guy. Um, he comes off very stern with us, very kind of general-like during rounds. And then the moment he pops into a patient room, he lightens up and it kind of like his, eye, his eyebrows curve in a different way. And he smiles and just opens up to the patients. At the end of the day, the teaching, the treating the fellows like family, it is for the patient. Everything is for that one common goal and it's very admirable to see that. I strive to be like him. He's honestly one of the best physicians I've ever met and truly a caring, compassionate human being. And to even be have those qualities and characteristics that embodies of what a true physician is and I aspire to be like that. So he's just monumental when it comes to that and he always makes me want to do better or see better so it's it proceeds kind of even a mentorship role even more it's blend it's a fusion of like a father figure a mentor a physician a friend a colleague so he just 
I want to be like him. Dr. Son, I just want to say thank you on the behalf of UMC for your steadfast commitment to UMC in raising and elevating cardiology care, uh, not only at UMC, but the entire Southern Nevada. Your impact is going to be felt for generations to come. If, if I want to say one thing to you, don't ever, ever, ever lose your enthusiasm and what you bring to this hospital, what you bring to the residents, what you bring to the fellows, what you bring to all of us that get to deal with you in our daily commitment to this hospital and our patients. Don't ever lose it, my friend, because you are the best and you are very appreciated.